The Black Pirate is an American film that was released in 1926. This is the only color film that Douglas Fairbanks released because the process was so expensive and so time consuming. Um, now, a lot of people want to say that this was the first uh, full length feature film in color. Now, we all know that there's Toll of the Sea, and there is also um, The Viking. And The Viking wants to say that it's even on the posters that it's the first full-length feature film. And I'm just the messenger, because I have people in the comments section that talk about it. And <laughs> I'm well aware that there's Toll of the Sea that came first. Um, but... There's also this one, Ben-Hur, of course, has sections, and uh, Phantom of the Opera has sections as well. So the process, and I will put information in the description box, the way that it worked was the machines would get overheated, and of course, it would take a lot of time. So, and it, <laughs> and that's why, uh douglas fairbanks just decided this is the only one now the other reason is because you will watch this movie and you're like well it's not as bright and vibrant as other films there's a reason for that now i saw two different stories surrounding this one was that his favorite childhood story was howard Pyle. um the, the the pirate story the the book of pirates by howard pyle another one had to do with um he had a conversation conversation with jackie coogan and jackie coogan was the one that absolutely loved the howard pyle story and so what he wanted to do what douglas fairbanks wanted to do was he wanted the tone the color tone to be a lot like the illustrations in this film i mean it, it, the the howard pyle illustrations he did a pretty good job and uh, as perfectionist as he is we've seen his other films and, <laughs> and douglas fairbanks is very perfectionist and um so yeah his are the, the colors are more muted and that is why um so when it comes to the story you it, it starts off with the the pirates taking over the ship they're looting it and they're gonna and of course it blows up and everything there's these two uh who are the survivors and one of them being of course douglas fairbanks's character and and his father he avenges to um he will avenge his father and you know he he says that he will avenge his father and he later introduces himself as the black pirate and he wants to join these uh this group of pirates and he um he shows his worth by at first uh doing a you know he he sword fights and and he he kills the the pirate captain and the lieutenant the pirate lieutenant says well that's fine and everything you can sword fight but what else can you do and and he took a ship single-handedly well he then is able to say well why don't we take this ship for ransom instead of just doing the whole blowing up thing we could get more money and he's and he then sees the young lady that was on the ship and says this is our collateral <laughs> and, and the story goes on from there um i'm not going to give away the whole thing but um i was trying to find if the ships in this were miniatures i wouldn't be surprised because I mean, if now, of course, Buster Keaton was able to get actual steam locomotives for like the general and and those. 
I wouldn't be surprised if he was able to actually construct if Douglas Fairbanks being Douglas Fairbanks was actually to to get an actual ship. Those of you that would know, please tell us, because that ship, those ships are amazing. Now, I I remember saying, in uh, what was it, uh, the Sheik and the Son of the Sheik when you go into the tent and it looks like a grand hotel. Eh, it's kind of the same thing here with the ship. <laughs> <laughs> oh good heavens now there is a cameo with um mary pickford mary pickford had a little bit of a problem with the idea of douglas fairbanks kissing billy dove and so she she shows up she she wears the uh she wears a wig and everything and yeah she shows up she's <laughs> she had a problem with that with her new husband or no they were married for quite some time but yeah she she had a real problem with that <laughs> and um but the final battle scene is i i enjoyed that that one i was on the edge of my seat with that and the the sword fighting is fantastic this one actually really proved his swashbuckler uh whole aesthetic I hate using that word, but I mean, he had that whole, th I mean, like I've seen Marcus Zorro and yeah, he, he did the, the sword fighting and everything, but this one, he was more in his element, I think. So, but anyway, this is the Black Pirate. It's an American film. It was released in 1926.